Dawn and Liberty is a new upcoming MMORPG which will have many interesting in-game features, including animal transformations. You'll be able to transform into different animals, and with that transformation, your character will change appearance and you will also get certain skills specific only to that transformation. In today's video, you will see part of my live stream and find out all about animal transformations, one of the most important in game features of Throne and Liberty. Before we start, let me just say subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Twitch to see more of MMORPG content and, of course, Throne and Liberty content in the future. I'm live streaming every evening about 7 o'clock Central European time, so join me to see some gameplay and to find out what is happening in MMORPG and PC gaming world. So, animal transformations, something very exciting regarding Throne and Liberty. As you can see, I'm already here on official YouTube channel of NCSoft and I can prepare here a few different uh, videos uh, to show you different kind of animal transformation, every information we have so far regarding this in-game feature. So, you'll be able to transform what is the basic idea behind animal transformation is actually pretty simple. In the game, while playing the game, you'll be able to transform your character into different animals. With that transformation, for example, into a bird, let's say into a bird, or in Golem, there will be different kind of animals, I'll talk about that a little bit later, you'll get different kind of skills. You'll be able to use that skills on depending on what you're doing, PvP, PvE, everything depends, right? And first I want to show you here, this is from Director's Preview, one really beautiful display of animal transformation regarding bird. First uh, transformation, let me show you here, let's check this part of the video. You will see this group when jumping from this higher ground, everybody transforming, look at this, into a bird. So this bird transformation, uh, I didn't see too many details regarding different kind of skills which you'll be able to get actually with this bird transformation. The only information, let's go back a little bit to show you this part of the video, you see it here. So obviously with this transformation into a bird, not only that you'll, you'll get different kind of skills, you'll be able to see more of terrain around you, you'll be able actually to jump from higher ground somewhere lower without killing your character, right? You can see here from this higher ground, these characters are actually jumping down into the battlefield. So this would be first transformation. And regarding this transformation into a bird, I can show you, we can get actually before, this was not the only video. Let's check another example of transformation into a bird. In front of you, you can see part of the video, one of the videos, this is from internal beta test. This is fight against the boss and character will jump into the air and then transform into bird. Look at this. Did you see it? Let's go a little bit again to show you again. From here. You see it? So jump into the air and then transformation into bird. Before that, just a, little, a few seconds before that, it's kind of funny. We have seen another transformation. Here we have some kind of ranger or archer. Probably you, you know that you have seen in some of the videos on my YouTube channel regarding class system of uh, Throne and Liberty. You will not have any kind of classes in the game. Instead of that, by picking up your weapon, you will pick a role which you'll be able to play. Check dedicated video regarding that on my YouTube channel. However, here I can show you Ranger. And look at this. Uh, this Ranger is uh, turning into some kind of, uh, it's not a dog actually. It would be some kind of a wolf kind of animal. Where is that? Did you see it? Absolutely amazing. So this would be second transformation. This would be second animal. This big thing in the sky, it's not that kind of transformation. But let's go forward. Let's see what we have here regarding other transformation. Another example here, beautiful example I can show you here within this video. I have studied every single video which we have get so far regarding Throne and Liberty from NCSoft. And within these videos, this is kind of funny scene. You can see here one group of players having a little bit of fun using, obviously in the game we'll have different kind of uh, motions, right? They're having fun on this higher part of the ground. And look what will happen, what will do this group of the player. Again, transformation into bird. Again, it looks like 
uh, this will be a very, very normal thing in the game. Whenever you'll be somewhere on the higher ground, you'll be able to go down on a very normal way, I would say, right, by using that bird transformation. Also, you'll have better perspective around you while in this bird kind of form. I still didn't see any kind of stats regarding this bird transformation, but let's check it out. How is this looking here? Look at this. This is actually very, very high above a battleground. And after they have jumped on the ground, this is, this is interesting. So uh, they have used another transformation. First into bird. Now they go in the ground and look at this. Do you see it? It's not a dog, but it's, it's looking like some kind of... Uh, is it a wolf? Something like that, right? So it's looking actually pretty interesting, right? So you'll be able to use different kind of animal transformation. And like I said, for now, I didn't see any kind of details regarding skills for bird transformation or regarding this, again, bird transformation. Look at this. So animal transformation will be a huge thing. I have to say, interesting idea regarding many different kind of in-game systems which we will have within Throne and Liberty. However, most interesting animal transformation will be transformation into Golem. We have seen on few occasions this transformation. Here we have one scene from Battlefield. Already here you can see lots of animals. Look at this. Different kind of animals. Is this some kind of puma in the middle? You see this animal in the middle? Or there further, is this, is that kind of lion or something? I mean, it's very hard. It's, it's not a tiger. Is this a tiger? It's hard to say. You can see already here just on this little bit, uh, I have stopped this footage on the battleground, different kind of animals. So let's move actually actually to show you one very interesting transformation. And we have get actual information, uh, this transformation. You can see it here, golem. This is golem transformation. You'll be able to look at this transformation. It's amazing, right? So during siege battles, we have got officially that is confirmed. You'll be able to transform into golem. And by this, by using this transformation, uh, within that transformation, while you are in that form, you'll be able to break city walls. Look at this. This is now during siege. When you transform into this, I need to stop this scene. You see it? They're attacking during the siege, right? That would be the thing, right? Uh, siege battles. This is something I have to say I'm looking forward to this especially. I mean, at least for me, this kind of content, large-scale PvP content, is one of the most important parts of any MMORPG. And we can see it here. It will be here in Throne and Liberty. So, Golem, you can see it here, right? You will transform into Golem and you'll be able to break city walls while you are into the, in, the, in this transformation. And not only that, you'll be able to carry your friends on your back, which have a normal form, right? Inside different kind of forts. Let's go forward to check this footage. L look at this. You see it? This is absolutely amazing. So this is that golem transformation, right? And you have friends, your team. Obviously, this is not a group. It's, it's some kind of a larger form, like alliance or ally, more people. And you're carrying your friends into the battlefield. Amazing, right? Look at this. And around, again, let's go a little bit back. Do you see around, uh, on the ground, again, some kind of tigers or lions or something, different kind of animal transformation. Again, look at this. Birds. Look at this, birds again. So animal transformations will be huge. This is beautiful scene. Look at this massive battle. I, I, I need to go back a little bit to show you again. This is one of the most, look at this scene. Now this, oh, so, a wall is crashing down. Wall was crashing down in front of that golem. Let's go again. Wait, wait for it, wait for it. And did you see it? Wall going down. Absolutely amazing, right? I uh, I have to say that I love the idea from uh, NCSoft. This idea regarding animal transformation is really good. And so far we have seen, if you have seen, right, transformation into bird, I didn't see any kind of details, what kind of skills this transformation we have. You can see again here, transformation into bird. Actually, we have got already like uh, three or four uh, gameplay footages. Let's call it like that, right? Uh, from NC Soft, where we can see user interface, we can see uh, characters in different kind of battles, different kind of terrain environment, right? And within these gameplay footages, I have I have studied every single second of every gameplay footage we have get so far, and 
So far, I have seen birth transformation very often. Uh, information, uh, I have seen the only information that was maybe 10 months ago that when you use a birth transformation, you'll have a better perspective of environment around you, which is kind of normal. You'll be on the higher ground, right? And uh, another transformation, golem, right? Like I have said, you'll be able to, uh, to break down city walls and to carry your friends into the enemy fort. And uh, those... Uh, Tigers, lions, uh, dog-looking animals. Uh, look on the ground. Even here on the ground, you can see moving. Look, look at this. So this is actually group of players moving into position to uh, to raid to world boss. Right. This is world boss raid. However, players are coming into that position to the battlefield. Let's check it again. You see it. And when they approach the boss, they transform and they hit it. So let's go back a little bit again to see that approaching to the boss. Look, approaching to the boss, transforming into, right, uh, from that form of animal. Some players are moving into bir from bird, uh, uh, bird, right, kind of transformation. Some from tiger, lion, whatever transformation. Again, we have here a scene of a world boss, big battlefield. And almost in every scene here, look. Even on this large scale battlefield, let's move forward. You can see on the ground, lots of different animals. I doubt that these animals are actually mobs. These animals here on the ground are actually animal transformation. Look at this, you see it? I mean, really nice, right? So animal transformations obviously will have a very important role in Throne and Liberty. And uh, like I said, I wish I had more details uh, this evening to show you regarding this animal transformation, uh, regarding some kind of stats, let's say, uh, not only appearance, right? Obviously, appearance of your character will change into this or some kind of animal, right? However, beside that uh, appearance thing, because you can see here, in this moment, look at this on the left side, on the left side, down on the left side, you will see user interface. A red bar should be your HP your health potions. Blue bar should be your mana or uh, mana power or some kind of magical power, right? Which you will use uh, by using weapons. Look what is happening with HP when this character have moved into that uh, golem transformation. Look what will happen with HP. Check. Check. Wait a second. Now, look. It's increasing. It's, go it's actually going down now. It's three. Yeah. It's very hard to say what kind of stats you'll be actually getting with that specific animal transformation. However, different animal transformation, different kind of stats. Another important question, what will be cooldown? How much, how long it will take a cooldown, right, uh, to, to be in that animal transformation? Uh, will it be a short period of time, a long period of time or something? And of course, I assume a cooldown will not be so uh, low because you will need to be careful when you're using that transformation. For example, you will save your golem transformation for the moment of the siege. Why to use golem transformation in open world PvP, for example? No point probably, right? Because you will not have any kind of city walls to break, right? So you will be using golem transformation, for example, right, in, uh, in sieges and maybe bird transformation when you will want to fly down from some uh, big uh, height, right, to the lower ground, or maybe when you will want to have better perspective of a battleground around you. So different situation, different animal transformation. This is now regarding guild versus guild uh, battlefield. And again, within this battlefield, look on the right side of my screen. What are these targets? Uh, what are these players hitting? They're, they're not hitting mobs. Uh, you can see here black, uh, black tiger, black puma, something like that. This is black puma kind of thing or something, right? And these players are not hitting mobs. These are not mobs. These are animal transformation. Look, let's go back a little bit again. This is guild versus guild kind of battlefield. Two flags, right, uh, fighting over there. Uh, okay, let's check now. So check what are the players hitting on the, from uh, players are in the middle of the screen. They're hitting target in the right side of the screen. Now, look. Yeah, again, element transformation. So 
uh, yeah, this sounds very exciting. And when I see any kind of new information regarding animal transformation, I will let you know about that instantly here on my YouTube channel because this will be something absolutely important regarding throne and liberty one very interesting uh, uh, gameplay feature and uh, let's hope they will not put that in a cash shop <laughs> that wouldn't be good or maybe they will that remains to be seen however yeah we only need to see what kind of stats you will actually get with these animal transformation and how many transformation will exist in the game and again uh, how will you acquire them? Will you, uh, will you be able to get them in the game? I assume you will. Or maybe you will need to uh, to buy them or for some in-game currency or maybe in cash shop. Who knows, right? Everything remains to be seen. However, for this evening, just to show you this exciting feature of Throne and Liberty, animal transformations will be there in the game. If I see any kind of news regarding animal transformations or in general regarding Throne and Liberty, I will let you know about that instantly here on my YouTube channel. So for this evening, that's it regarding Throne and Liberty. If you are watching my live stream, let's go forward with live stream. If you are watching video on my YouTube channel, thank you for watching the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Twitch to see more of MMORPG content and of course Throne and Liberty content in the future. I'm live streaming every evening about 7 o'clock Central European time, so join me to see some gameplay and to find out what is happening in MMORPG and PC gaming world. See you soon.